hello, this video is for parents and carers to learn some strategies to support their child's early language development. You are the best person to support your child's language skills as you can use these strategies within their everyday routines. We'll chat a little bit about language development and then we'll go through eight language strategies. Try to pick out three of these to work on with your child. Communication is more than words. Your child may use noises, facial expression, eye contact or pointing to communicate to you what they want. They might not have many words yet, but they will be using other strategies to get their message across and to have their needs met. All of these skills are important for a child to be able to use language. A child usually develops the skills on the first level before they can develop skills on the other levels. A child will usually play, look at you and babble as a baby. They will then communicate using pointing, leading you by the hand or crying before they understand words. A child has to have an understanding of what words mean before they can begin to use that word. Your child has probably been referred to speech and language therapy because they aren't using many words, but we need to focus on their understanding of words first. These are the four stages that children pass through when they're developing their language skills. As a baby, a child is reacting to feeling cold, hungry, wet or lonely by crying. They will then start to communicate with you without using words. They will giggle when happy, cry when hungry, reach for a toy or parent that they want. A child will usually begin to use their first words around their first birthday, though every child is different. Between their first and second birthday, they're developing their understanding of what individual words mean. They know the word car means something different to the word dog. They will need to understand what each word means before they can use it functionally. Once a child has around 50 words that they're using in a meaningful way, they will start to put two words together. For instance, a child will need to know what the words daddy and juice mean separately before they can say daddy juice. This usually happens around two years old. Using words meaningfully is different to copying words. Your child may sing songs, count, say the alphabet, or use phrases like see you soon without knowing what each word means in that song or phrase. These are phrases that they've learned in a chunk and they're copying these rather than sentences that they're putting together themselves. Make a list of the words that your child is using to work out which stage they're at. Strategies that I'm going to chat about are best used when both you and your child are relaxed and enjoying each other's company. Children learn best through play. It develops all of those skills that we've looked at in the pyramid. Attention and listening, turn taking and eye contact. Try to set aside at least 10 to 50 minutes each day when you have the time to play with your child without any distractions. It's really important to turn off the TV so that your child can really focus on the words that you're using. We're going to talk about some strategies, which are tools that you can use to support your child to help develop their language. You can call Speech and Language Therapy on 282-3085 to request a PLG Strategies booklet that goes with this session, and we can email this or post it out to you. Strategy one, follow your child's lead to work out what they're most interested in. Remember that they're far more likely to learn words for things that they like or things they're interested in. Let them show you what they're interested in and then you can give them the words. Strategy two is getting down um, on your child's level. It's important to get down on the floor and be face to face with your child. Children learn a lot from facial expressions and they will enjoy seeing you smile and sharing their toys with you. Being face to face will help your child to focus on the words that you're saying. When you're looking at your child, you are able to see the subtle ways that they're trying to communicate with you better. They might hold out an object to you or they might look at an object for you to name. If you aren't looking at your child, you might miss their attempt to communicate something to you. Make time for your child to observe how they are playing and how they are communicating. Wait for them to communicate to you. Leave a pause or a space for them to have a turn at communicating. They might not use a word, but they might point, gesture or look at you. Don't always talk at your child or try to force them to talk. Leave gaps for them to have their turn to communicate. 
Your child will need to hear a word hundreds of times before they will learn what that word means. Remember, they need to know what the word means before they can use the word. Listen to the words your child is using. It's important that you give your child the words that they need at the right level for their stage of language development. Remember that a child will usually have around 50 words that they're using regularly before they will start to put two words together. This could be in English, your home language, or a mixture of both. If your child has less than 50 words, you should focus on teaching them more single words. If your child has around 50 words or more, then you need to show them how to use two words together by adding on a word for them. If they say dog, you could say big dog or dog sleeping. To teach your child more single words, you need to use single words to comment on their play and what you and they are doing. A child will struggle to pick out single words and what they mean if you're using the word in a sentence. Just use the word on its own instead. You might need to practice doing this, but try to use only single words on their own when you're playing with your child for 10 to 15 minutes a day. Your child will have a better chance of learning the meaning of single words if you use those words when the object is there or when you're in the situation. For example, at dinner time, you could name food items, banana and toast. You could ask more or finished and give chances using real objects, apple or pear. If you don't have the object there, you could use the Makaton sign instead. To teach your child to use two words together, you should model this for them. Try to use phrases of only two words often, like coat on, shoes on, more juice. Try to use different types of words. We tend to focus on labelling objects, but try to include a mixture so that when your child comes to using two words together, they can build a sentence. Most sentences have an object or a person and a verb, which is a doing word. Daddy drinking, mommy washing, milk gone, bye bye grandma. Your child will struggle to move on to the next stage in their language development if they only have the names of people or objects. Repetition. If you're focusing on teaching your child more single words to get them closer to having 50 words that they can use regularly, then you need to repeat the words that you're teaching them often. Your child may need to hear a word more than 100 times before they learn it. You can use toys, real objects, stories and songs to teach your child everyday words. If your child begins to use a word, you know that they've learned it. You now need to expand their language by repeating the word and adding on another word. This way, you will always be developing your child's language and they'll be able to move on to the next stage in their language development. For instance, if your child loves animals and they know all of the animals in the Dear Zoo book, when they say lion, you can say big lion, scary lion or lion roaring. Your child needs to hear simple language repeated throughout their day. An easy way to do this is to use the same words as part of their routine. When getting undressed, you can say, shoes off, jumper off, trousers off, t-shirt off. Once you've modeled this routine, you can leave a pause to allow them to join in. Socks. If they don't say off, it's okay. You finish the phrase and try again next time. We have lots of advice leaflets about using pauses during play to teach language. So give us a call to request these to be emailed or posted to you if you'd like some more advice on how to do this. Sometimes your child may need a visual clue to be able to understand what a word means and to understand that one word is used for many different items. For example, a red basketball in the shops is still a ball, even though it's not the same as the small yellow ball at home. By using the same sign, they will learn that they are both ball. If you're interested in using Makaton with your child, you can contact us and we can send you a first science booklet of everyday words. We can ask questions for all sorts of reasons, but they can be very different, difficult to answer for our language delayed children. Try not to ask your child to name objects or to tell you the number or colour. If you're asking them to name it, chances are you know that this is a word that they know, so you're testing their memory. Focus on reducing your questions and giving choices instead. Instead of where do you want to go, you could say Nana or Park. You can show a picture or do the Makaton sign to give them a clue. Children are sometimes accused of being lazy with their talking, especially boys. 
Talking is a complicated process involving lots of different processes which all need to work well together. Your child may just need some extra time to think of the words and to say these clearly. You can help them by making sure that they're listening first. Get their attention by saying their name, encouraging them to stop what they're doing and looking at you before you give them an instruction. Then give them extra time to respond to you. If your child does not yet have the word, encourage them to show you by leading you to the object, pointing at a picture or the object, or by giving your child choices so that they can say yes or no. It's normal for young children to make errors in their use of speech sounds. This will be more common in children who've been late to talk or who have delays in their language development as they've had less opportunities to practice. We don't tend to work on speech sounds until a child has a good understanding of language and until they are around three and a half years old. This is because younger children can't hear that they're saying the word differently to the adult. If your child says a word differently to you, you should show them that you have, a, you have understood them, but do not try to get them to say the word correctly. It's unlikely that they'll be able to do this. It's more important that they feel that their communication was successful and that they hear the words said correctly. So if your child says take for cake, you should say mmm cake, then the last thing they've heard is cake said correctly. The World Health Organization have recently advised that babies and children up to two years old should not have any screen time. That includes TV, cartoons and YouTube. They also advise that children between two and four years of age should have no more than 60 minutes of screen time per day with less being better. We know that screen time has a negative impact on children's speech and language development and this may explain why there's more children requiring speech and language support. Children learn language best when they have an opportunity to practice conversational turn taking. However, when a child is watching TV, even if you feel that this is an educational program, it's never their turn to talk. The best change that you can make for your child is to provide more opportunities for them to communicate with you, even if they don't yet have many words. Remember, communication is more than words and they may be able to use looking, pointing and eye contact instead. Remember, you're the best person to support your child's language to develop. Play with your child for 10 to 15 minutes a day at least in a quiet space. Use the strategies that we've discussed in the video and give us a call on 282-3085 for a copy of the PLG Strategies Booklet or if you have any questions.